Good evening everybody, Flack is back. We've got a lot of things coming this Thursday. Fake Glock 17s, burst fire modules, and of course, the Caboose Casino Train. Now I know you're thinking to yourselves, oh my goodness, what, what do you mean a casino train? I'll tell you what though, I freaking love it. Let's have a look at the casino train, or the caboose as they call it. It's a linkable, you can detach it and reattach it to whatever you want. Come inside, you've got this beautiful casino decor, an automated blackjack machine. We've got the poker table that no one ever seems to use for some reason. We've got some slot machines, those are pretty cool. Tiny little cashier booth that no one can enter. And a light switch on either end of the train that turns on the internal and external lighting. It's got those awesome festoon lights and you know like the neon sign on top and some floodlights. I think the decoration or the design of this thing is absolutely cool. It looks amazing. And I really think it gives off like a vintage sort of casino vibe. Let's have a quick look around. As with all things in Rust, I think the decor or the design of it is absolutely staggering. 50 points to Gryffindor for the design. I think it's fantastic. It looks even better at night. I'm going to make it nighttime quickly and we have a look inside. Look at that, that darkness and that sort of seedy back alley type casino. I love it so much. It's such a good look. I wish those candles worked. The monochrome blackjack machine giving me a very Fallout vibe for some reason. I'm not really sure why. At night, the exterior lights up and looks just incredible with those spotlights on the roof. I love it to death, but let's see how the blackjack itself works. Now, if you know anything about blackjack, you know that there's a dealer below there. To play, all you have to do is mount the seat, open the table up. You're going to have to put some scrap into the table, and then you're ready to play. Now, I'm obviously not going to cover exactly how blackjack is supposed to work, but you get dealt two cards. The dealer has two cards. You can go all in, or you can incrementally bet. And you have to get as close as possible to 21. Whoever's closer to 21 or hits 21 wins. If you get too short, you lose. Or if you go over 21, you bust. It's pretty much as simple as that. Hit gives you another card. But if you start getting closer to 21, you might want to stand. Because the dealer might draw a little bit too far and bust himself. You can incrementally lower or raise your bets using the arrow keys. Or you can be a real man and go all in. Don't forget people, most gamblers quit just before they're about to hit the big. Just kidding, real life gambling is for absolute losers. Again, this machine feels very Fallout-esque, that monochrome green screens, the old school digital tech. Loving the feel and the vibe of this entire train card, but to make it a moving train card, I'm not really certain that it's a good idea. I would way prefer having one of these train cards like positioned inside the outpost or inside Bandit Camp, sort of like in the water, like that type of deal. I think that would have worked a lot better than having it on a movable train. But the fact that you can actually do something cool on these long journeys is sort of exciting. I know that people aren't going to be using it, unfortunately, but it is definitely something that's going to pass the time and be quite fun for those video ideas from our favorite Rust creators. But you aren't here for the train caboose, you are here for the new weapon, and that is the Glock 17. Now, if you know anything about guns, you know that this is an exact replica of a Glock 17, even down to the finger safety. It's called the Prototype 17, and apparently it's a burst fire prototype pistol. I don't think you're able to make it single fire. I may have missed that information. If anybody does know if you can make this single fire, please let me know in the comment section below. The Prototype 17 has exactly the same damage stats as the semi-auto pistol, and it is slightly weaker than the M92. The thing I do love about the Prototype 17 though is the feel. It sounds good, it feels good, it shoots nice and tight. I do love the feeling of this weapon. No word yet whether it will be craftable or findable or loot creatable, I'm not really sure. I'll leave that up to you guys for Thursday. But it is a great feeling weapon. It's tight, it's accurate, it feels good, it sounds good. I just absolutely love this weapon to death. I hope they make it single fire because I want this in my life. It does take extended magazines, so standard is 18 bullets and then with extended it's 23, giving you a massive magazine to take care of your enemies. One of the most important things though is the burst module. It is a new add-on to your weapons and it forces the weapon to fire in three round bursts. It makes the fire rate go up by 20% and it makes the recoil drop by 20%. It works on these weapons that I'm busy dragging to my hotbar now at the moment and I'm going to show you individually how they fire. It doesn't seem to work for the AK, the LMG, the revolver obviously and the M249.
The custom with the burst fire is by far the best thing that I've felt in this update. It is going to be the new meta, mark my words, Thompson burst fire. Let's go. I thought the MP5 would have been meta, but it just doesn't feel good to me. Maybe someone that's better at PvP would enjoy it, but personally, I just didn't like the feel of it. And semi-auto as well, going to be an absolute tier 2 shredder from long range. It's insanely easy to control their recoil. But what do you think of the update coming this Thursday to Rust? Do you enjoy the burst fire module on the weapons? Do you think the prototype Glock 17 is good? Do you think it should be single fire? And what do you think of the train caboose? I personally love these changes. So simple, new guns, we need them desperately. New firing modules, we need those. Let me know your thoughts on this update in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you to my darling patrons. I adore you guys. Until next time, blackout. out.